now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical Weather Bulletin for August the 1st. Hilda is now a hurricane, Naini is still a depression, and the depression over India still persists on day 213 of the year. 44 storms have formed so far as we enter August of 2021. In the Atlantic on day 62 of hurricane season, it's still fairly quiet in this part of the world. There are no named storms, no areas of interest or no invests in this part of the world on this day. Over in the East Pacific, it's quite a different story on day 78 of hurricane season. Uh, Hilda is now a hurricane heading out to sea. Uh, 9E is maintaining depression status to uh, the west of Hilda. Uh, 91E is to Hilda's east and it currently has a 70% chance of formation in five days. Uh, following that, is an uninvested area of interest which we've given a 20% chance of formation. It is currently located just off the southern coast of Mexico. Over on the other side of the Pacific, 95W and its associated tropical cyclone formation alert is no more and in its place are three new invests, count them three new invests. Uh, first off is 96W which we've given a 10% chance of formation in five days, currently heading to the northwest towards Japan. Uh, hopefully it won't disrupt any more Olympic events. Uh, 97W has a 20% chance of formation and a pretty broad formation area. We're not exactly sure where it's going to track in the coming days. Um, 98W is also heading northwest with a 10% chance, as well as an uninvested area of interest with yet another broad formation area and a 10% chance of formation. Over in the North Indian, the tropical depression currently over India is still maintaining its strength as it tracks to the west-northwest over the Indian country. Jumping into the satellite imagery and the North Atlantic, there's not really a lot to see here as there's, well, nothing really of interest in this part of the world. Over in the East Pacific, the, east, the train continues with 90 at the front, uh, continuing to the west. Uh, it's currently expected to form into a tropical storm sometime over the coming days, and should it follow through with that forecast, it will earn the name Ignacio. Hilda follows behind 90 and is expected to continue strengthening. Uh, following Hilda is 91E with its 70% chance of formation and following that system is the uninvested area of interest which is barely visible on satellite just off the coast of Mexico. Over in the West Pacific, 96W is tracking northwestwards towards Japan with a 10% chance of formation in 5 days. Uh, 97W with its 20% chance of formation, we're currently not sure where its current track will take it due to having a broad formation area. 98W also has a 10% chance as it tr also tracks to the northwest behind 96W and the uninvested area of interest also has a 10% chance but yet again we're not sure where it's going to head off to. Over in the North Indian, the tropical depression over India is expected to continue to track westwards over India. It's just barely visible at the top of your screen right there. Uh, we're not sure how long it's going to last. Hurricane Hilda is currently expected con to continue out to sea uh, to tracking towards the northwest. Currently not expected to impact any land areas as it is nowhere near any land areas. Sea surface temperatures are up next, starting off with the West Pacific. It's cooling off slightly actually with temperatures of 29 degrees registering. There are some small pockets of 30 registering around the Philippines. 
The North Indian, due to monsoonal activities, actually cooling off a little bit. Uh, the tropical Atlantic is very warm, especially uh, uh, some pockets in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, the tropical East Pacific is getting warm, uh, the spot south of Mexico currently where the uninvested 20% area of interest is, is maintaining quite warm with some pockets of 30 degrees. And the subtropical Eastern Pacific is slowly warming up. and. The central, uh, se central Pacific, excuse me, still remains fairly cool. Sea surface temperature anomalies. Again, starting off with the East Pacific, the area from Baja California all the way down to Hawaii still remains uh, pretty cooler than average. The subtropics of the Atlantic uh, remain uh, largely above average, some parts by quite a bit. Uh, the tropical spots of the Atlantic remain mostly at or above. Uh, where are we up to next? Okay, the West Pacific is largely remains warmer than average apart from the area of the Okinawa Islands which remain cooler than average due to where Infa moved through just a little bit ago. The North Indian is also mostly above average apart from the West Central Arabian Sea. And as usual, the Sea of Japan is abnormally above average. On this day in 1989, August 1st, there's quite a lot to get through here, so please bear with me. Uh, again, I've got down in my notes, it's quite a busy day. Starting things off in the Atlantic, we had Hurricane Chantal, which was just about to make landfall in Texas at peak intensity. Tropical Storm Dean had also just formed and was intensifying to the east of the Lesser Antilles. Over in the East Pacific, Hurricane Gill or Hurricane Jill had just become a hurricane and would remain so for the next 30 hours. And over on the other side of the Pacific, Tropical Storm Ken Lola was on a southwest track before st stalling later on in its life and after it recovers from that stall it would move northwest. I should also mention Ken Lola was two storms that merged into one, hence the uh, hyphened name. And elsewhere, Typhoon Mac was making its way around Ken Lola, uh, ultimately heading northwards towards Japan. It would eventually landfall in Japan at peak intensity. Alright, up next in the Atlantic, we have uh, Fred followed by Grace. Up next in the East Pacific, we have Ignacio followed by Jimena. We could be seeing those names fairly soon. Over in the Central Pacific, this is at this rate, are you tired of us saying this for the past two years? The next name on this list is Hone. Up next in the West Pacific on list four is Lupit followed by Mirane. Up next in the North Indian is Gulab followed by Shaheen. Down in the Southern Hemisphere in the Australian region, the next name on the list is Paddy followed by Ruby. First up in the, Atla in the uh, Indian, Southwest Indian, excuse me, is Anna followed by Batsirai. And finally, up next in the Fiji region is Cody followed by Dovi. That's all from me for now. We'll see you for another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow night.